the call to prayer heard in mosques across Indonesia. But these worshippers belong to Ahmadiyya. The sect has around 200,000 followers in the country who believe that their group's founder, and not Mohammed, was Islam's final prophet. They have been labeled heretics and targeted by hardliners. Young students now patrol their headquarters in West Java, 24 hours a day. Last Sunday, hundreds of people set fire to an Ahmadiyya mosque not far from here. The fourth such attack in recent weeks. We will have to go abroad if this continues. We have no safe place here anymore. Where are we supposed to pray if they burn down our mosque? The mosque is a house of God. It doesn't belong to us. We have built mosques to be closer to God. Pressure has been building on Ahmadiyya since earlier this year, when a government inquiry concluded that it was a deviant Islamic sect. The movement has been active in Indonesia since 1925, but the mood has changed. Their belief has led to unrest, it has created uneasiness among the people, it disturbs religious life of Muslims in Indonesia so it can create violence. Tolerance is now seriously being tested in Indonesia. The increasing attacks on members of Ahmadiyya have also caused fear among other minorities who have always felt protected by the Indonesian constitution. Banning Ahmadiyya would go against the Quran and violate the constitution, says the chairman of the largest Muslim organization in Indonesia. The president, as the person is also Muslim, have to follow the Quran. And as president, he has to follow the constitution. But fringe groups are threatening to take matters into their own hands and are warning of more violence, as this amateur footage shows. Kill members of Ahmadiyya, wherever they are. Yes, I'm worried. We are watching the situation carefully to see if there's something suspicious. So we are on alert. But our lives are in the hands of Allah. The government says it will soon decide whether to ban Ahmadiyya. Muslim scholars worry that with the elections due next year, the group's fate may be decided by the government's need to win the support of Islamic parties. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, West Java.